class. I am Cheryl M. Lamberte, your teacher for today's discussion. Let us have first an opening prayer to be led to us by Ms. Garrido. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, thank you for this new morning. Thank you for the gift of life and your continuous love for us. We pray for your protection and guidance. Lord, may you bless this day ahead. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let's know you first, our class rules. Please read Ms. Nodano. Class rules. Pay attention to the class. Raise your virtual hands if you, are, if you want to answer. Mute your mic when not in use. Participate to class and avoid interruptions. Thank you, ma'am. Hope it is clear to you all of your class. Please open your camera for your attendance. Okay, thank you. Let us have first an activity. Please raise your hands or virtual hands to answer the following words. Don, please complete the words as shown in the presentation. Number one, Banzon. Sales. Number two, Nodalo. Number two, number th input. Number three, Tanyo. And number, number four, three, and output. Number four, Relosa. Forma production number five, cost. Number five, Lucas. Selling price, ma'am. What was our last topic? Okay, Mr. Baral. The last topic is all about the cost production. Thank you, Mr. Baral. Next, we have another activity to motivate you in our class discussion for today. Since we are in virtual class, the class will be divided into two. The direction the first group will answer what is shown in the picture and the second the given question after the picture. Did you get my instruction class? Yes, ma'am. You will pick one representative in your group to answer the activity. I will give you three minutes to collaborate your answers. Time is up. Please present your answer. Group 1, please, Miss Lugas. Good morning, ma'am. So, I am Maureen Lugas, the representative of Group 1. So, the answer for the pictures, picture rather shown are receiving, grading, sterilizing, washing, and storing. Why is it important to know the different food processing activities? Group 2, please, Miss Bote. Good morning, ma'am. I am Rosanna Bote, and I am the representative from Group 2. So, it is important to know the different food processing activities because it helps us understand how our food is produced, packaged, and preserved. This knowledge can help us make better informed decisions when it comes to choosing what we eat. Additionally, different food processing techniques can affect the nutritional content, safety, and quality of our food. Some processing methods can remove important nutrients, while others can add harmful ingredients. Knowing the different techniques also helps us understand how to store and prepare our food properly to ensure its safety and maintain its quality. In summary, understanding food processing activity is important for making informed decisions about what we eat as well as for ensuring the safety and quality of our food. That's all, ma'am. Thank you. Do you have an idea what is our topic for today, Mr. Baral? The topic is all about interpret a layout plan in a fish processing. Thank you, Mr. Baral. Learning objectives of this topic explain the meanings of the signs and symbols used in layout plan for fish, processing activity and interpret layout plan for fish, processing area according to the standard set. Group yourselves into two. As shown in the presentation, there is a flowchart. In manufacturing a smoked bangus fish, write it in one half gross sheet of paper and select one representative to present your answer. What is the procedures in making smoked bangus? Everyone, I am Diana Janine Ogredo. We are the group one. In making smoked bangus, the procedures are first, securing, second, preparing under 
are splitting, burning, pre-cooking and drying. Third is smoking, fourth is cooling, and fifth is packing. So, I am Evelyn J. Banzon and we are the group 2. So, in making smoke bangus, the procedures are first securing, second preparing. So, under are splitting, brining, pre-cooking, and drying. The third one is smoking, and the fourth one is cooling, and the fifth is packing. Thank you class for your answer and all are correct. Let us watch a short video. Our food processing activities. Number one is receiving. This activity includes sorting and grading of raw materials according to size, species, and quality. It also includes segregating suitable and unsuitable ones. Number two is preparation. This includes the preparatory steps such as washing, evacerating, cutting, brining, and pre-cooking the raw materials by steaming, blanching, or broiling. And for our number three food processing activity is processing or sterilizing. This activity involves the final processing and complete sterilization of the processed finished products. For number four, Storage room is very important. It is provided for storing finished products such as canned or bottled, smoked, salted, pickled, and other processed products. Proper storage will also extend the shelf life of the product. And this food processing activity is what we call storing. For number five, we have packaging. This food processing activity involves wrapping or enclosing food products in bottles, cans, or jars. The purpose of packaging is to protect and preserve the finished products. Number six, we have labeling. The purpose of labeling is to give the correct information about the products. This includes the name of the product, the ingredients to be used, as well as the production and expiration dates. To observe the safety in our food processing area, we have to be familiarized with the common symbols used in layouting the food processing layout plan. Please be reminded of those symbols and safety precautions. Here is a sample layout plan in the food processing facility wherein we can see the door, hand basin, gas range, refrigerator, freezer, fire extinguisher, toilet, dining table, cabinet, and kitchen sink. We should always be familiar with the following signs and symbols and making a layout for our food processing plan. So what was your opinion about the video and how does it help them in planning the food processing? Please answer Ms. Bote. Planning a layout for food processing involves many factors such as the efficiency of production, food safety regulations, equipment placement, and workflow optimization. By using data analysis, a company can determine the most efficient flow of the production process and minimize any potential safety risk. It includes the layout of the processing area, equipment needed, and the placement of workers in the plant. Food processing companies can gain critical insights into the optimal layout of their processing plant by using data analysis tools. By analyzing data collected from various sources, 
they can make informed decisions about the most effective and efficient layout for their production process. Ultimately, this helps them to optimize their operations, improve productivity, and reduce waste and cost, leading to greater profitability in the long term. Fish Processing Activities Please read Ms. Garrido. Fish Processing Activities The term fish processing refers to the processes associated with fish and fish products between the time fish are caught or has harvested and the time the final product is delivered to the customer. Fish is a highly perishable food which needs proper handling and preservation if it is to have a long shelf life and retain a desirable quality and nutritional value. The central concern of fish processing is to prevent fish from deteriorating. Receiving. These activities include sorting and grading of raw materials according to size, species, quantity, and it also includes segregating suitable from insuitable ones. Description of the specific characteristics of fresh fish. Please read Ms. Nudalo, 1-3. to So, number one. A fish with clear bright eyes have eyes with a convex shiny black pupil and translucent cornea. Number two. A fish with bright colored gills have gills with which are shiny or red or pink, not dull brown or gray. Number three. The odor of a fresh fish is similar to that of a newly gathered seaweed. Thank you, ma'am. Please read Mr. Baral 4-7. The description of the specific characteristic of the fi- of a fresh fish. Number four, a fresh fish has a firm flesh characterized by a stiff body and texture elastic to slight pressure. Number five, a fresh fish with intact belly walls have no protruding viscera and the walls are not so ruptured but firm as spring. Six. The fish with a bright body color has close appearance with body color typically of the species. Number seven, the swim percent in the fr- uh, fresh fish must be clear, colorless, and transparent in the normal quantities at the gills and body. Stale fish has the following specific characteristics. One, discoloration, which is miserable, abnormal color changes in some parts characterized by varying degrees of spoilage. Damage is defect in the fish which materially detracts from the appearance or edible or shipping quality of the fish. Number three, the scale fish is considered to have lost scales when the scales have been removed from the skin over more than 5% of the surface area of the fish or when scales are easily wrapped off because of bacterial decomposition. Number four, the eyes are considered slightly sunken if the eyes are not bulging or are slightly depressed. Next, please read Ms. Logas 5 to 7. 5. The milky slime in stale fish appears cloudy white and it and is slight, slightly transparent. Number 6 is slightly discolored gills have abnormal color change from bright red or pink to dull gray or brown. Number seven is a fish with a slightly soft flesh has a texture which is not elastic and leaves a dent or mark to slight pressure. Reading. Evaluating the raw materials based on their organoleptic characteristics such as appearance, color, odor, and texture. Grading of tuna. Grade one. This consists of strictly fresh fish processing. Grade two. This consists of chilled or frozen quick or sharp fish which failed to meet the requirements for grade 1. Grade 3. This consists of fish which failed to meet the requirements of grade 1 and 2. Off grade. This consists of fish which failed to meet the requirements of grade 3 and therefore must be rejected. Preparation, please read Ms. Banzon. Number two, preparation.
preparation. So this includes the preparatory steps such as scaling, eviscerating, washing, cutting, brining, and pre-cooking the fish by steaming, blanching, or broiling. So the steps in cleaning fresh fish, first one is scaling using knife, metal scaler, electric scaler. Second is eviscerating or gutting. So this means the removal of the internal organs, vice viscera or guts through the operculum. The third one is washing. So fish are washed using running water from a faucet. Processing sterilizing. This activity involves the final processing and complete sterilization of the processed finished product. Storing. Storage room is provided for storing finished products such as canned, bottled fish, smoked fish, salted fish, pickled fish, and other processed fishery products. Proper storage will also extend the shelf life of the product. Packing and labeling, please read Miss Tanya. Packaging. This processing activity involves the wrapping or enclosing food and fish products in bottles or in cans for the purpose of protecting and preserving the finished products. Number six, labeling. So the purpose of this activity is to give the correct information about the product. Have you learned about my discussion class? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so may I ask one question? Why is fish highly perishable food? Okay, Mr. Baral. Fish is a highly perishable food which needs a proper handling and preservation if it is to have a long self life and retain a desirable quality and nutritional value. The central concern of fish processing is to prevent fish from deteriorating. The most obvious method for preserving the quality of fish is to keep them alive until they are ready for cooking and eating. Thank you, Mr. Baral. Alright class, let us have an application activity. If you know the layout plan of fish processing. The class will be divided into four groups. In the picture is a layout of an ideal processing room. Place necessary area appropriate for processing. Write in a one short bent paper. Each group label the layout. So I will give you five minutes to answer. Okay, time is up. Please submit your output via messenger. Okay, I have question. How helpful is it for you to know the interpret layout plan? Okay, Ms. Rilosa. Interpret layout can be helpful for understanding the structure and layout of a space or project. It can help in planning and executing tasks efficiently and effectively. Similarly, understanding the implied meaning can aid in comprehending the underlying, underlying message or intention behind a particular communication or action. It can help in making better decisions and avoiding misunderstandings or misinterpretations. Thank you, Ms. Rilosa. Now let's move on to our evaluation to make sure if you really understand and learn our topic for today. Direction identify the correct answer. Write only the letter of your answer in one fourth sheet of paper. Take a screenshot and answer it for five minutes. After take a picture of your answer, submit it on my messenger. <music> Okay, for your assignment, take a screenshot of the picture shown and answer the following question with your own. Any question and clarification, class? None so far, ma'am. Okay, class, that's all for today. Thank you for attending my class. Have a nice day and God bless. See you next meeting.